What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Just give me one second while I turn off these fans. These fans are really, really loud. All right, so now that, that is, the fans are off, uh, today's video, it's not gonna be super long, but I think in a past video I had mentioned that I ended up going to a, um, I bought a new turbo, so I had a 6262 on here, ball bearing. Um, I decided to go to a 6062, which provided better spool and a little bit more power than the 6262 that I had. And if you guys don't know, in order to get these cars to 60 foot good, you have to use a pretty decent size um, nitrous spray a shot. And so I'm thinking with the better spool, I might not have, I'd probably get a better 60 with a little bit less nitrous used. So I have already taken out the old turbo. All that is done. I just have to clock it the right way, make sure that it matches that. And then it should just be a pretty simple install. If you guys didn't know, I got another ball bearing kit and a, this is gonna be the 6062. I also sent it off to Boost Lab in order to get the T51 mod. So we're gonna see and powder coat it and coat it for the heat. So we'll see, let me see this real quick. So this is literally the first time I'm seeing this. Hopefully it is the right parts, the right V-band, all that. That way I can just quickly install it. But it is a 6062 with powder coated red with coating for the heat and a T51 mod so my car sounds like an airplane. So I wonder how this all came out. Let's see, got this whole thing right here. Don't need that. Salt ball bearing, so this just says, you know, what you need. Um, all right, let's see what this thing looks like. And then I think I had a little razor blade somewhere. All right, guys, and here it is. It actually, this coat, it's a little dirty right now, but this coat actually matches pretty well with that, as you guys can see. As long as I cleaned it and polished it, it'll look very similar. So it's probably gonna look really badass. Man, this is actually pretty good. Powder coat came out good. The T51 mod, so I wonder what this is gonna sound like. The car already sounds pretty badass with the, the non-T51 mod, so this is just gonna make it even sound even more. So I'm gonna get to installing this, guys, and I will show you guys after. Alrighty, guys, it is the next day. Um, I did end up finishing everything late last night, so that's why I just didn't finish up. So here is the final product. This is, once again, 6062. Uh, better spool than the 6262 that I had on, and it also makes more power. Uh, have the T51R mod. And yeah, I drove it today, made sure there was no leaks. Everything went back on as it, as it should. And it actually matches the car pretty well. So it looks pretty good. I can't complain. I think it would probably be really badass if I had this powder, powder coated or put this as a gloss red. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. Not too much red in here, but to mix it up a little bit, red and black type of ordeal. So let me go start it up for you guys so you guys can hear this. It's going to be a cold start, so it's going to be kind of loud. As you guys can see, I love the new sound of the car. Um, the car 
I did a couple pulls earlier. It feels really good. It does definitely spool up a little bit. I haven't got the data log yet for it to see how much faster than the 6262 it is, but the dual bar bearing definitely plays a big part in that. Um, I'm gonna get some logs, post up results, stuff like that once I uh, get to making more videos and stuff like that. But as you guys can see, the car is running good. Everything's good. The new turbo is awesome. Did take a little bit. Um, I think Boost Lab was backed out, especially with the whole COVID thing and stuff like that. Um, it was like three weeks, maybe three and a half weeks before I got the turbo back. So that's why I waited to take off that one. Um, so I'll probably end up just selling that one and going from there. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. If you have any questions, anything, then, you know, ask in the comment, uh, comment box down below. I'll try to answer them if I can. And thanks for watching. Peace out.